there, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about my plan to pan in 2024 and the intro for my project pan. Now I know that people usually make a video on their plan to pan in 2024 and a different video for the intro of project pan, but I felt like doing it in one because realistically I'm going to talk about the exact same products, so it just felt better to merge it into one. And the reason for this is that a lot of the products in this project pan are going to be long haul kind of products and they're going to take most of the year, if not the entirety of the year so the earlier I get started with them the better I think my goal for 2024 is to finish at least one makeup product in each of my makeup categories and this is what my project pan is gonna center around throughout the year the only category that won't be included in this project pan will be my eyeshadow palettes and that's because I will have two different projects going on um, for which you will see the intro video soon so I have 26 products to talk about, so let's get started. The first product that I want to finish is my Hydro Grip Milk Primer. I bought this a while ago when one of my best friends was getting married. I was one of the bridesmaids and it was going to be a very long day for which I wanted my makeup to stay on no matter what. And it did, but after the wedding, I never really reached for this on a daily basis because it was a precious item. Um, but I really like this primer. I spent good money on it and so I want to finish it. This is what this primer is looking like right now. So as you can see, I have used a little bit more than half of it and the initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 72.83 grams. I think this primer is going to be one of those easy items that are out of my project plan in a few months, but we'll see. The next item that I want to finish is my e.l.f. Body Eye Primer. This is going to be an item that lasts me the entirety of the year, most likely, and it might even be a fail to pan kind of product, but that's okay. This is what this is looking like right now. There used to be a huge dip at the center of it with a lot of products sitting at the borders of it. Um, I melted it and evened it out just because I like it that way and when I'm reaching for it I do try to swirl the entirety of the pan. This is going to be a long haul and its weight at the time of rolling this in is 15.81 grams. The next item that I want to finish is my Pixi Vitamin C Under Eye Brightener. Um, I'm not sure if this is skincare or makeup but if it's makeup it doesn't work really well but i already bought it and i'm going to finish this um, it doesn't really matter for me that it doesn't work very well because my under eyes are not that deep if you don't have this don't buy it <laughs> this is what it is looking like right now you can tell that some of the color in the packaging has faded and this is how much product i've used up not a lot and considering that i only wear this under my eyes this is also, I think, a long haul kind of product, but that's okay with me. And its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 13.81 grams. Next, I have the Ordinary Coverage Foundation. They don't make this anymore, or at least they don't sell it. And I know they didn't get great reviews, but I actually quite like this. It is a matte, high coverage foundation, but it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin and it is not cakey. Now this is what it looks like, but the bottle does not allow me to see or show how much product there is left. So we'll just go with weight. And its current weight at the time of rolling this in is 39.82 grams. The next product is a CC cream that I got from my mom. Um, it came in a tube and the shape was a little bit too dark for me. So I decanted it into this little jar and mixed it with another CC cream that was too light for me so kind of worked out um, this is what it's looking like I know that it is weird to have two similar kind of products in my project pan a foundation and a CC cream but I'm actually pretty good at alternating between the two of them so that's fine although both of them are gonna last a few months I think this is not the original packaging again in this jar I got a peeling mask for my face um, but its current weight at the time of rolling this in is 84.44 grams. The next item that I want to pan is my e.l.f. Flawless Brightening Concealer. Um, it is one of those that you click and then you apply it. I don't particularly love this concealer. It is not very high coverage, which I knew, but I didn't expect it to be so lacking in coverage. 
uh, but either way, I already have it. I bought it. I'm gonna use it up. It's not bad in any capacity. It doesn't increase. It doesn't look cakey. I just would like a little bit more coverage, but it actually works really well for a daily kind of use. Um, and again, because it's one of those clicky ones, I can't see how much product I have left, but its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 9.21 grams. I have never panned anything like this before, so I don't know how long it's gonna take, but hopefully it won't be too long. I have been working on this for a few months now, so shouldn't be too long. The next item that I want to pan is my Becca Self Light Blurring Powder. I got this a while ago when the brand was shutting down. A bunch of their products ended up at Marshalls and I stuck up because I had never tried it, but I had heard great things about it. And so I bought a bunch of their things and um, trying to finish everything that I bought back then. Anyway, this is a great powder. I use it just to set my under eyes, to mattify my forehead and my nose a little bit, and that's pretty much it. Um, it's not icky, and it is pink, so I don't know if that's supposed to do anything, but it is pink. And this is how much I have left. Now, it does take me forever to go through a loose powder like this one, but I do have less than half of it, so I think this is doable to finish within a year, uh, but it is going to be a long haul. And its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 97.30 grams, although I think that most of it is just the packaging because it's so bulky and it is nice actually. <laughs> Next, I have my No Filter Setting Spray by ColourPop. I actually don't like this. I know that people rave about it, but I don't feel that it's effective when it comes to ensuring that my makeup stays on. Um, and I have very long days, so I do need a setting spray that ensures my makeup will stay on in a 10 hour period. So yeah, I don't particularly love it, but I'm almost done with it. So I think this is gonna be a product that will be done in a few months, hopefully. Now, I won't be repurchasing this, once I finish it, but its weight at the time of rolling this in is 77.30 grams. Next, I have my Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. And this is what it's looking like. So I actually had to repress this because I only had product left in three corners and it was starting to break away and I couldn't actually properly get it on a brush to apply it on my face. So I crush it up and repress it. And although it doesn't look like there is much product here, I think this is gonna last me a few more months. Once I actually finish this, I will reach my goal for my powder bronzer category, which is to only have one. So once I finish this, I would only have one. So now I know there is not a lot of product left in this, but I don't wear this as my main bronzer. I usually wear this to set any cream or liquid bronzer. But, so that's why I think it's gonna last a few more months even though there is so little of it left. And its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 22.21 grams. So the next product is a concealer that is a little bit too dark for me so I wear it as a liquid bronzer and that is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer and I have it in the shade Medium Tawny. Now with this kind of product, I can't really tell how much product I have left but when I take out the wand, it does look saturated still in product. So I think that this still has a few more months left in it. Eventually, I will take the stopper out and get everything that I can. I'm not sure if I will see windowing, but we shall figure it out. And its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 17.57 grams. Next, I have the Cheek Kiss Blush by Milani, and I have mine in the shade Nude Flush. This is a really nice blush. I like its mauve kind of shade. And I know that it's a liquid formula, but it does feel really wet and I do feel like it lifts my foundation sometimes. But nevertheless, I want to finish it and I'm going to swatch it. It's really mauve and it goes really well with my warm undertone. And I know that it is really hard to pan a blush, but this is a liquid formula, so I have hope for it. And also, as you can tell, I have finished almost half of it. So I think this is doable. Um, we shall see. Anyway, at the time of rolling this in, 
its weight is 11.85 grams. The next item that I want to finish is my Winky Lux Strobing Balm. This is a beautiful highlighter and it comes in a cream formula. This is what it looks like. And again, I know that panning a highlighter is quite hard, but I think that because this is so small and it is a cream formula, it might be different. And like I said, I have a warm undertone and this is a little bit too champagne for my skin tone. But actually, once I apply it on my skin and blend it in, it looks really, really nice because it's kind of pearly and champagne at the same time. I don't know how to explain it, but it's beautiful and it doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It doesn't accentuate any texture in my experience at least. Um, and I really, really like this actually. I know this is going to be a long haul. This is going to get me throughout the majority of the year. And if I don't finish it, that's okay. But at least I will make a lot of progress in it despite me wearing it year round. Either way, the initial weight of this at the time of rolling it in is 21.45 grams. Next product that I want to finish is the Revolution Eyebrow Gel. This is a translucent formula and it is kind of dirty now and I had it laying down so the product hasn't settled down enough but roughly this is... it won't focus. This is where we're at right now. Now I know that this looks kind of full still but I do wear a lot of it whenever I do my brows just because my brows don't like to behave sometimes. Very often they don't. So I do wear a lot of this and I think that this is going to last a few months. It shouldn't linger throughout most of the year. I hope. I'm not sure. But either way, its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 13.39 grams. The next product that I want to finish is my NYX Lift and Snatch Brow Pen. I have this one in the shade Opera just because before being a blonde like I am right now, I was a ginger or a redhead. I had copper hair for four years I think so all of my brow products were actually auburn just because I wanted to make sure that my brows and my hair blended in nicely um, but I am wearing it today and I don't feel like it makes my brows look weird with the blonde either way this is the last of my brow products that is auburn everything else now I buy it in blonde so I just want to finish this so I can go back to having blonde brows I can't really see how much product I have left in this but at the time of rolling this in, its weight is 6.14 grams. The next product is technically a highlighter, but I don't wear it as a highlighter. I wear it more like an eyeshadow stick or an eyeliner. And that is the Becca Champagne Pop Cream Highlighter. This is how much I have left at the moment. And I just wear this on, on my lower lash to highlight it a little bit and add some luminosity because when I wore it as a highlighter, I found it really lackluster. So I know that this looks hard to track, but this is actually three centimeters of project. And when I update it, I will provide a picture where we can compare lengths and see progress that way. The next item that I have is my e.l.f. liquid liner. Again, I can't really see how much product there is left in here, but it's actually coming out less and less wet whenever I wear this um, so I think this should be done maybe in one or two months which makes me really really excited I don't know if they make this eyeliner in this packaging anymore this is quite old uh, but I don't want to say how old anyway its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 7.26 grams the next item that I want to finish is my Tarte Man Eater Mascara and when I actually finish this I will be at my goal for my mascara category which is to have one black and one brown at all times so this is the last extra mascara that i have and it is coming drier and drier every day i have to kind of swirl around the packaging to get more product into my eyelashes so i think this should be done in a month next update this should be an empty either way its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 24.36 grams which most of it i'm sure is just such bulky packaging i particularly don't really enjoy this mascara it's okay 
but I do find that it can smudge on me sometimes even though it is a waterproof formula. So I'm very happy to see this go. I won't be buying it. The next item that I want to pan, it comes from my lip care category. It's kind of like a cheating um, item because it is almost done. Like, look at that. I wear this every time when I go to bed and in the morning. And sometimes if my nose gets really dry because of allergies or I get sick, I also apply this around my nose, which I know is weird, but I'm... I'm the only one who wears it, so who cares? Either way, I think that by the time next month comes along, I'm gonna be done with it. If not, at least I will have decanted it and put it somewhere else just so that I can finish. And when I do decant it, I will make a reel about it. So stay tuned on my Instagram. The next item that I want to finish is a lip liner by e.l.f. in the shade Deep Brown. Again, they don't make these anymore in this packaging at least. And this is what it looks like. And I actually really like this all over my lips as a kind of lipstick and then topping it off with a lip oil or a gloss and it looks really really nice actually. And so I think that by the time next month comes around I will be done with this just because this is a very creamy formula and it's kind of easy to go through. Uh, but either way at the time of rolling this in it has 2.2 centimeters of product. Oh I forgot to swatch a lot of things. I'm gonna swatch real quick the Becca highlighter. Uh, which one was I using? So you can see it's kind of lackluster. It's nice, but it's nothing great. And then this is the deep brown lip liner that I also want to pan. And this is it's like very very nice actually and as you can tell i really do like a bold lipstick so it won't be no problem to go through this now the next product is a matte liquid lipstick that i know for sure is gonna take me most of the year i do love this formula though um it's in the shade peach and that's what it looks like. It's so pretty on my lips. I like it because it stays on for hours. And I know that liquid lipsticks are not in fashion anymore. But I do like to have a lipstick that is going to stay on no matter whether I'm drinking water. And that I know I won't be leaving it anywhere or everywhere. Either way, its initial weight at the time of rolling this in is 17.21 grams. Next, I have a lipstick. And this is the Winky Lux in the shade Purple. This is one of those lipsticks that change according to the pH of your skin. On me, it looks like a very soft pink. Because this is such a versatile product where I can use it on top of a lip liner just to add a little bit of gloss, blend everything together, make sure it looks uniform. But I can also wear this on its own. Um, I think this will be easy to pan. But either way, at the time of rolling this in, it has 1.8 centimeters in it. The next product that I want to finish is the Lip Tint Lip Balm by Bath & Body Works in the shade Wine Knot. And the reason that I want to finish this, even though it's kind of new, is because the packaging shattered. I don't know how, I don't know why, just by carrying it in my purse, it broke apart. So you can see it's broken there, and then whatever was covering the bottom of the product there fell down. and. It's just a mess. I love the formula, I love the color, but I don't like how fragile this is. I, I don't think I would repurchase. But this is how much product there is left in it. And this is a really versatile formula because um, it is so shiny and nourishing that I can wear this on its own or I can also wear it on top of other more matte, drier formulas as well. And it just blends in with the colors really, really nicely. It really is a beautiful formula. It is just such a shame that the packaging is absolute garbage. So that's it for the products that I want to completely empty throughout 2024. But I do have three more products that I want to keep in my project pan just to hit pan on them throughout the year. If I can hit pan on them, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. So first, this one, I want to hit pan. but I also want to see if I can finish it. This is a Super Shock Shadow by Colourpop in the shade Moonwalk. It is this shiny green 
goldy, beautiful eyeshadow. Oh my, it's right up my alley. I love greens and gold and any of that. And so, oh, look at that. This looks great on top of almost any eyeshadow look. Um, so, I really like this shadow, but it doesn't show. It's still, You can still see the initial pattern. Looks almost brand new. So, I want to see how much use I can get out of it. And if I can finish it, that would be great. I realistically don't think I can, but I want to make sure that it looks well used and loved. Next, I have a blush, and this is the Becca Cosmetics blush in the shade Sunburn. It looks more orange than it does on person. I think it looks more pinkish, mauve -y, um, in person than on camera. This is the color that it looks like in person. It is a beautiful formula. It blends in really nicely. Uh, it stays on nicely as well. I just want to hit pan on it. As soon as I hit pan, I will roll it out of this project. The next product is also one where I just want to hit pan on it and this is the Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Candy Floss by Colourpop. This is such a huge highlighter, like there's no need for this to be this big. But either way, it is very glittery, very extra, um, but I do like it. In person it looks gorgeous, but it's just such a massive pan that I just want to hit pan on it. If I can hit pan on it, that's great because that's also another goal that I have. I want to make sure that all the blushes and highlighters that I own look well loved. So while I'm working on finishing something, mostly my cream formulas, I want to make sure that I'm also hitting pan on the rest of them. Um, even if it's one a year, that's fine by me. Either way, that's it for this video. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know what you think about my plan to pan and my project pan. I know that it's ambitious and I know that a lot of people do 10, 5 items at a time, but this is how I want to do it. So we'll just go with it. Um, please let me know what your plan to pan in 2024 is. And also if you're doing a project pan uh, and you're documenting it online, please let me know where I can go ahead and follow that because I would love to watch your progress as well. And yeah, so that was it for me. Have a nice day. Bye. It is kind of cheer, cheer, but the packaging is actually, actually, que panon, que panon, panon, my Spanish comes out. <laughs>